again and welcome back to Hidden Artifacts channel. Today I am going to be spending this Saturday morning uh, looking around some city parks here in Lansing in Michigan. This is our state capital. Uh, I made sure to do some research before I went ahead and did this and I actually received permission from the city uh, to go out and explore, dig, and uncover some artifacts in the uh, parks around the city. So. I'm going to explore, uh, I don't know, three or four parks today, I think, if I can. Um, the first one here is called uh, Ruder Park, and it was the very first park in the city uh, way back in 1878. So it's been here for quite some time. The fountain you see behind me was installed later on, but it's still quite old. Uh, the park is named after the mayor of Detroit. Uh, at one point, this park was about three acres. It's uh, about the size of a city block now, so it's definitely shrank a bit. Uh, it is just about three blocks away from the state capitol, and at one point this was the first and only park in the city. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to find some really neat things here. I'm pretty sure this park has been probably dug to death, uh, but I'll give it a shot and, and we'll see what we find. Okay, just a little bit away from the fountain here, went ahead and got a pretty strong hit. So. Uh, Let's see what we got here. Whatever it is, it's pretty tiny. Oh, there it is. We have a bullet casing. Which seems really odd <laughs> for a park. <laughs> And that's pretty old. That is a really old one. It's an old rim fire again, just like I found at the beach. And that is pretty deep. That's a good eight, probably eight inches down. I'm actually surprised my detector found that. Cool find. We'll clean that up when we get home, see if I can find anything on it like the other one. Second hit here was a little bit hard to track down. It kept coming up in two places. Uh, just could have sworn it was in this one, but just nothing was panning out. I think I might have just found it a little bit to the right. Yeah, there it is. No. <laughs> An old key. Somebody never got home. Got a pretty big hit here. Uh, it's pretty long, so I don't think it's going to be a coin, but uh, it sounded interesting nonetheless. Is a really old square nail. And a big one, too. Interesting. Hmm. Cool. Right on the corner of the actual park itself, got a really big hit, and it's pretty deep. I almost gave up, but I think I just hit it. Because it is, it is pretty deep. <laughs> it's pretty far down there. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, there it is. What in the heck is that? That looks... Like a clock key to wind a clock? Maybe? I have no idea. That's a mystery. Or a piece of fence? Hmm. I will have to clean that up. That's uh that's interesting. 
I've not found anything like that before. Crazy. Tell me what you guys think. Maybe after I clean it up, you'll uh, have a better idea. Here's a little something gold that caught my eye. Fortunately, it's not the right kind of gold. <laughs> Tucked away in this little tree. Pass it on. I think I'll just leave it for somebody else. Right at the base of a tree, got what I am pretty sure is a coin. It's right at the surface. It's a penny. And date, ah, 1977. Well, that's good luck. That was the year I was born. Maybe that's a sign of good things to come. Cool. wrapped up here at a uh, Reuter Park. Uh, I've gone about as far as I can around here looking for things. And I just had a hit um, right as I was leaving, so we're gonna see what this is. It's right in there, it came up as a penny. Been finding a lot of just junk change, probably for the fountain. <laughs> Ooh, that is green. That's good. Nineteen forty-one and all right. Found my first wheat penny. There we go. Amazing. And that is really green. Looks like I might have nicked it a bit with my shovel. Cool. First wheat scent. All right. Okay, park number two, Moores Park on the south side of Lansing. Uh, this park has been around since the late 1800s, just like Reuter Park that I was at before. The building behind me is the Eckert Power Station. I'll pan up to give you a good idea what this looks like. Those towers that you see up there are over 600 feet tall, uh, and they're quite a landmark here in Lansing. Uh, apparently their nicknames are Wink and Blink and a Nod. It's kind of funny. Uh, the power plant's gonna be decommissioned in the next few years here. Um, it's a coal plant and the city really doesn't want it any around anymore, so they're gonna turn it into something different. Um, right next to me is the Grand River, which is probably what you're hearing right now. It's a little loud. There's a hydro station right there as well. The park itself has some really interesting history to it. It was uh, granted to the city by a wealthy land developer. Um, and I don't know if you can see it, but right there is a public pool. And it's actually the oldest operating public pool in the United States. So I'll make sure to get some shots of that as well. I know this park has been pretty well dug. There's uh, detecting events that happen around here all the time, but you never know. I'll take a look and see what I can find. Got a hit about two inches down. Uh, it's coming up as a penny, I don't know, somewhere between a penny and a, a dime. I see it peeking out. Well, it's copper. Couldn't tell you what. Strange. Any ideas? Circle of copper. <laughs> Maybe an old buckle. 
Okay, another strange hit about, I don't know, 10 feet away from another one. It's coming up as, uh, again, something between a penny and a dime. There it is. <laughs> it's a little horse. Little rocking horse says Hobby Lobby. That's kind of cool. I think it's I think it's copper. That's really funny. I like that one. That's a good one. Yeah, the more I look at it, I don't know that it's copper. I'm not sure what that is. It's pretty cute, though. Strong hit. Uh, coming up a quarter. Oh, a token. Discovery Zone. I'll have to look that one up. I think that's around here, actually. So I don't know how old this is. But I'll look it up and try to find out. So I got a date on the bottom. Uh, it's too small to tell. I don't think so. Still, kind of cool. Okay, just found something a few inches down. And that is a bullet. Not a very comforting thing to find at a, uh, at a park. Still, my first full bullet find. Okay, this one's eluding me. I've, I keep coming up with signals kind of in the, I don't know, penny range. Pretty far down, you know, six, eight inches. And I can't seem to find it. I think I finally got it. I thought it was over here, but right in here so we're gonna see if we can't locate it finally Another bullet. <laughs> it's becoming a little concerning. A lot of bullets around here. It's a tiny one. Like it's from a 22, maybe? Oops. Well, there you go. Okay, this is the uh, public pool that I was showing you guys earlier. Uh, plaque on there says J.H. Moore's Memorial uh, Natatorium, 1922. I just pulled a uh, signal here right along the sidewalk. Uh, came up around a penny and a dime and it just popped out of the side there and it's pretty green. Take a look at this one. Yep, just a dime. Nothing too special. 
been pulling up lots and lots and lots of pennies around here. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm just about done for the day. I, uh, I've been out here for <laughs> five hours now, and uh, I'm just sweeping, sweeping the ground on the way back, and I hit something pretty big here. It's right at the surface. And I just started picking at the grass a little bit, and I'm pretty sure, yep, that I just found an iPhone. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And this is, it looks like an iPhone 5S, maybe? Let's find out. Get the case off. It's an iPhone 5. Seen better days. Does it turn on? Huh, no, it doesn't. Strange. <laughs> well, there you go. Funny. You never know what you're going to find. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you again for uh, liking and subscribing. Absolutely appreciate it. If there's anybody else that you know who would uh, really enjoy this, please spread the word. I appreciate everything, all the support, all the comments. I try to do my best to uh, get out here as much as I can and keep filming for you guys. So once again, thank you from the uh, Hidden Artifacts channel. Keep digging guys. Thought I'd give an overview of uh, everything I was able to find at the park here. It's actually quite a lot uh, over just a few hours. Uh, I was really stunned by the amount of change that I actually picked up. Uh, it's over four dollars in change. Lots and lots of pennies. Uh, the oldest being that 1940s uh, wheat penny, which I really, really like. I'm really happy about that one. Um, pennies range all the way up until, you know, modern 2000s. A few nickels. Uh, I think the oldest one is in the 80s. We got some dimes going back to the 70s, all the way up to current. And then quarters, just missing silver going back to 1967. Um, yeah, overall about four dollars and change. I also was able to find a couple interesting coins uh, that aren't common. Number one is a Sacagawea dollar coin. Uh, in the United States, these are not popular. It's a dollar coin. I know in other countries they they have whole dollar coins, but in the U.S. they just don't seem to catch on. The core of this is copper. Um, it's a relatively new coin. This is 2001. You can see where the gilding used to be, um, and I think it's brass, really, really thin plating of brass on there, but that gets eaten away pretty quickly underground. It's a beautiful coin, and it's just a shame they don't catch on, but people just don't like them. Don't know why. Uh, also, Canadian Penny, I found. These are pretty popular in Michigan. You, you find them almost everywhere just because of our proximity to Canada. This is a 1974. Pretty, pretty nice one. Uh, those two Discovery Zone tokens, I looked up the, what, what those were, and apparently it was a video game place, like an arcade in the 80s. So uh, there must have been one nearby. I, I don't know that there's one here now. I thought there was, but I, I guess not. So those have been in the ground for quite some time. I uh, also have a pin that I found. Um, it's a United Way pin, with, which is a charity. They do, uh, yeah, they organize charitable events and donations. A um, couple of the older items I found. This, I have no clue. Uh, it, it's copper. Um, I couldn't tell you what this is. It was really deep. Uh, it was almost a foot down, and my detector went crazy on this one. It's got two little holes there. Could have been flat at one point, rounded. I don't know. It's pretty beaten up. If anybody has any ideas of what this could be, I'd really like to know. Because um, I honestly have no idea. And then we've got this little ornamental piece. 
which cleaned up pretty well. Um, it's got copper wiring, and I think it may have actually been gilded at one point as well because it's catching the light and I'm seeing little reflections on there, so that's kind of interesting. A few bullets uh, in the park, which is a little concerning, like I said before. Um, yeah, a few bullets. Never found bullets before, and today I found two. This little Hobby Lobby pin, I looked this up. These were really popular back in the 70s. I believe it's a tin, little tin charm. And then the older items, we've got uh, this piece of copper, little buckle, interesting little guy there. Uh, this is indeed a clock key, which I really like a lot. This is a good find. Uh, it looks like at one point this may have come over this way to attach to something. You can see there that it's got the square, the square end for, for winding clocks. I only know that because my parents had a grandfather clock and I used to have to wind it and it was really annoying. <laughs> uh, two square nails. I actually found a ton of nails. I threw out most of them, but those were some of the bigger ones that I thought were pretty interesting. Uh, a key, an old key. And then the find of the day, we've got the iPhone. Uh, pretty interesting. I'm going to go ahead and recycle that, but hey, that's the biggest, most valuable thing I found besides the ring the other day. Too bad it doesn't work. Completely unusable. I mean, it's probably been outside for quite some time. Overall, pretty interesting finds. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I'll definitely go back. There's just so much in the ground. I mean, it's, it's almost impossible to dig it all. Uh, I have to be really picky with what I choose to, to dig because otherwise I would just never have enough time. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.